Okay, we're gonna look at the Bravo choke from side control. So I'm in side control on DJ. I've got my good uh, fingers in the armpit, my shoulder in his neck. That's really good solid pressure here. So let's say that I know that DJ is tough if I give him room, so I don't I don't want to try to pop up knee on belly right now. So but I see this lapel here, this this tail hanging. So first thing I want to do is get this loose. If there's not enough of it here, don't be afraid to rock your opponent up to get more of the tail. Now, the second step, I can bring the tail to my hand, but if I do, I don't really do anything to his spine. But if I go to the tail, I really sort of contort his spine and get him out of alignment here. So now that I've got that, I pull it back through. I've got to be ready when I pop up knee on belly to slide to the end of that tail. So now, I get a hand on his belt for good control, and I pop up knee on belly, okay? Now, good knee on belly, there's no space between my foot and his side. It's in tight, and I've got all of my weight on him instead of on my toes on the mat. I'm holding the belt. Now, when I pop up here, I've got to slide to the end of the tail because I got to swap hands. So now, this hand goes in, fingers toward your opponent, you're grabbing the tail with all four fingers. This hand comes across. Like if you can grab the back of the tail, great. If you can't, you just monkey paw on the shoulder and I can usually finish the choke right there. But if you can't finish the choke, you grind your knee down to the mat as you pull them into you. Now you can finish the choke there. If for some reason your opponent reaches up to block, perfect. Take that arm across. You want to put your bicep on the back of their tricep, reach under the head, squeeze. It's a very tight choke. So from the beginning, I got good solid side control, but I don't want to pop up and give DJ any space because he's really good, right? So I see this tail here. Get all I can get. Take this hand and go get that so that I get his spine out of alignment. I suck that tail back in, hand on the belt, knee on belly. Good solid knee on belly pressure. And I slide to the end of the tail so I can swap hands. This comes across, finish the choke there, pull him to his side and finish it. Or if he reaches across, I can put my, my bicep or my chest on the back of his tricep, go under. So. Let's let DJ demonstrate this as well. One of the tightest chokes you'll ever feel. All right, so yeah, like Paul is saying, to grab this Bravo, you gotta sometimes expose the back. There may not be enough of the tail to comfortably go get it. So feel free to sprawl out, getting your opponent on their back, gives you some extra slack. Now come back up and go reach for that tail by the crown of their head. Pull them back in, get that real good shoulder pressure going. You cuff the thigh or the hip rather, or grab the belt wherever it might be. And post up for knee on belly. Reach in, grab the end of the tail. With a good start to a choke. Monkey paw across. That'll come in if that's not working. You slide to your side in the choke, or if they're blocking, Bicep on tricep, crunch behind the head, finish the choke. That is the tightest one. That's tight. Yeah, it definitely can be tight for sure. Anyway, go get that tail. Go collect it, bring it back in. Grab the thigh, grab the belt rather. Here, slap, finish, tighter finish and even tighter finish. So that's the Bravo choke.